the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, they just came up with a proposition to completely unregulate themselves from any radioactive contamination. Check this out. The linear no threshold model and standards for protection against radiation. This was proposed by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission on 6-23 of 2015. The action, petition for rulemaking notice and requests your comment. That's right. When you don't want to impose any limits, don't make any, right? That's what they're trying to do. This no threshold model in summary, the New York Regulatory Commission, NRC, has received three petitions for rulemaking requesting that the NRC amend its standard for protection against radiation. Regulations and change the basis of those regulations from the linear no thresh respiratory itinerary. There is no safe dose. Matter of fact, one dose might be just enough to do enough. The petitions were submitted by Carol S. Marcus, Mark L. Miller, and Mohan Das. Get this. It gets much worse. This Dr. Das that filled this petition on behalf of the scientists for accurate radiation information. These people are a joke. Listen to this. Their mission is to help prevent unnecessary radiation phobia related deaths and injuries associated with distrust of radio medical diagnostic therapies and from nuclear radiological emergencies through countering phobia promoting misinformation spread by alarmists via the news and other media including journal publications The petitioners are requesting that the NRC amend part of its 20 of Title 10 of the Code of Federal Regulations. Standards for protection against radiation based on the new science and evidence that contradicts the LNT hypothesis and requests that the NRC greatly simplify and change to take into account the vast literature demonstrating no effect. The petitioner Dr. Carol Marcus requests that the NRC amend its regulations and CFR that are based on the LNT hypothesis. Carol states that this ultra simplistic concept assumes that all radiation absorbed doses, no matter how small, have a finite probability of causing a fatal cancer. The petitioner Carol further indicates that the use of the LNT assumption enables regulators to feel justified. So Carol says this burden for the regulators is this creating this ever increasing workload for themselves and their licenses. Oh gee, they're just too busy over there protecting people though. It's too much work for them. However, the petitioner suggests that there has never been scientifically valid support for this LNT hypothesis since it was re-recommended by the U.S. National Academy of Science Committee on Biological Effects of the Atomic Radiation Panel in 1956. So it's outdated, so obviously you can't have any limits, right? And the cost of complying with these LNT based regulations are enormous, right? We can't protect our medical personnel and our patients, right? No radiation will hurt them, right? 
Not at all. According to them, any limit's good for them. That's literature that demonstrates that low doses of radiation have no effects, and some studies even suggest that low doses of radiation may have protective effects. That's right. Like in culture, it's like a vaccine. Get your radiation. The petitioner writes the literature showing protective effects supports the concept of homosis, in which low levels of potentially stressful agents such as toxins and other chemicals ionizing radiation protect against the effects of these high level stressors. Therefore, it is beneficial. Low cancer rates, right? Get more radiation, get lower cancer rates. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Let's just uh, base our whole argument on doing the opposite of what really happens. The NRC is providing technical information supporting her request. Hey, next thing you know they're gonna say three eyes are better than two eyes. Line up and get your radiation. Have an eye in back of your head and see what's going on behind you with our upgraded radiation pill. Stop lying to us, NRC. Stop lying to us, regulatory commission. You're not regulating crap. Public doses should be raised to worker doses. The petitioner notes. Doss and Carol and the rest of those that these low doses may be for medic. Public doses should be raised to worker doses. Worker doses? The petitioner knows that these low doses may be hormetic. The petitioner states low dose limits for the public perpetuates radiophobia. Oh no, we can't warn people because it might scare them into a heart attack, right? Maybe it's the cesium in her heart that's giving them a heart attack. The petitioner for rulemaking was submitted by Dr. Mohan Das on behalf of scientists for accurate, misaccurate, not accurate radiation information and supports and supplements petition for the PRM 20-28. This petitioner provides additional information suggesting that low dose radiation reduces cancer risk. That's what they're saying now guys. They'll give you more radiation, it'll lower your cancer, right? That's their chemo for you, but everybody's getting chemo, right? You don't even have to intravenously take chemo now. It's just in the air, it's in your food. There it is, everybody's getting free chemo. The petitioner further states that the use of the LNT hypothesis and the NRC regulation has had a major detrimental effect on public health since they have prevented the study of low dose radiation for controlling aging related diseases such as cancer. Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's is necessary because any potential future accident involving the release of radioactive materials in the USA would likely result in a panic evacuation. Yeah, likely and good reasons to be worried. But we can't have these panic evacuations, right? We don't want to evacuate anybody, right? No! Stay where you are! Enjoy the Fukushima air! Go ahead and write to them, call them. Here's her email, carol.gallagher at nrc.gov For further information, you can also contact the rulemaking.comments at nrc.gov and then you can also call them at 301-415-1677 and demand that they increase their regulations and safety standards 
not decrease them. You can also fax comments to the Secretary of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission at 301-415-1101.